Number one, first, to everyone who's here, welcome to the official controllers, uh, sm how to smoke in Valorant 101. We're going to be going over everything with smokes. If you're watching live, you can also check out Twitch as well. I think the Twitch stream is actually has a lower delay. So if you want to ask questions, you can, and it's easier to ask questions through Twitch since you'll get those questions and I'll see them right away. So that's another thing. So if you want to watch it on Twitch, you can go on Twitch and watch. We will be posting this to YouTube probably in a few weeks after I uh, look it over and edit everything out. So the first thing we're going to talk about are, you know, why are smokes important? There's like so many reasons why they're important, but we're going to go over some basic ones. For one, uh, easily slows pushes. So if you see a smoke or an enemy team sees a smoke, most of the time they're not going to push through it. Or if they do, they're going to think twice beforehand, especially lower elos. Uh, it's good for blocking off certain angles. So, for example, let's say I'm, like, trying to walk up to here. You can put a smoke down. And then use the smoke to creep up. Get a cheeky angle. You know what I mean? Close that distance. And now you're playing, like, a cheeky angle with that shotgun. Which is another thing you could do. Or even do the same thing a short. If you smoke over here. Or you smoke the one way. There's one way up there. You can just kind of sit by the smoke. And force them to come out. And then you're right there with the shotgun, ready to go. So so rather than taking... And if the reason you would want to smoke this is because they could if there was no smoke. If you're trying to play that angle, they can see you from here, which is a further angle. Which makes it easier for them to actually win that 1v1 with the judge. It's harder to cheese. But if you smoke this off, they have to actually come up right up to you. That's another big reason. You know, So it's good for like closing distance. You can play off your own smoke. So we get we talked about the judge, but let's say you even had a, just a phantom, and we smoke Cover deeper like up. here. If you creep, you can use that to here. creep up as one way to play off. You can also play in the smoke, because a lot of people when they push a smoke, they don't expect someone in here, so they won't flash into a smoke or anything. So they're most likely just gonna, they're just gonna swing, walk in, and you can kind of just shoot them for free. So that's another reason you might want to use the smoke. If you're playing on Haven, uh, you might want to smoke off mid. So that they can't really just peek mid and watch window for free. They have to kind of either have someone play above and get around it. Play on the gen. Or just like wait out the smoke or whatever. Anyways, those are the basics of how smokes work in Valorant. But well, we're going to talk about smoking on attack. Uh, everything you need to know from defaulting, executes. First off, uh, what is a default? It's basically when your team doesn't do a hard push. Normally, if you want to execute on a site like in solo queue, you might want to execute A. So you kind of just hard push into A, you'll put smokes down, throw flashes, do whatever. First, when we're talking about defaults, if you're starting on this side, you're on attack. Normally, what you'll do is you'll have somebody maybe watching A main. They might trip this if they have a cypher. He might trip C long too, so that people can't push. And you're just kind of like waiting. Maybe one, two people are like trying to work A short and try to find a pick. Uh, maybe someone's trying to like look at C long, make sure no one's pushing, stuff like that. For smokes, normally on a default, you want to smoke like like mid. So that one guy who's trying to peek here, they can watch garage. Or one guy over there can watch garage. This guy can watch just B main. And they it just makes it easier with the smoke up. And the, other, the enemy team doesn't know what's happening mid. So you can honestly walk up to here while the smoke's up. And you can like play in this cubby. Or you can get into that cubby over there. And they won't have any idea because of the, that smoke you put up. So that's kind of like a default. For an execute... Normally, you want if it depends how many smokes you have left. You're gonna if you have two smokes, you're gonna smoke two of the choke points. If you have one, you're gonna smoke one. But normally, with your smokes on an, a site execute, you're gonna smoke some of the like most powerful choke points that people can play in or like angles that they can hold. So, for example, on C, you're gonna C site Haven, you're gonna want to smoke here this garage, and you're gonna want to smoke CT because. Players playing in garage have a nice angle where they can see you as you cross site and it's very hard to clear them. So if I'm coming up here and I have to clear garage, if I'm looking, I have to clear like this, dude. I have to watch this angle and I gotta watch over here. And while I'm looking over here, somebody could be back site, someone could be metal watching. So it's way easier to just smoke these off. So if I'm playing and I smoke, you're gonna smoke Cover going garage up. and you're gonna smoke CT. So when I push, I can check this angle, this angle. That's already smoked. So it's way easier to hold and they're very likely not going to push. You have an angle there, there, there. But 
you want to put these down to kind of deter those people from entering site. And that's another thing. These are the exits, yeah. and the enemy team needs to push out of those smokes and make a play to get out. So that's kind of why you want to smoke these sites uh, or these choke points. Now we're going to talk about, like, defense. So for defense, there's kind of a few reasons or a few ways to smoke. Getting map control is a big one. Uh, to slow down pushes or for retakes are the three main reasons you or the three main ways you're gonna smoke on defense. So when it comes to map control, uh, the, I like Haven as a perfect example. So if I want to push, let's say Garage is trying to push or I'm trying to push out here. If I just push out B main, look at this. I have to watch this. But I also, like, yeah. they can just come window and shoot me for free in the side while I'm looking at this. So I'm going to need someone to hold that. But way easier, if you smoke off, like, uh, some kind of choke like this, like a window. You smoke off window. You can walk up. They now have to push out of this smoke to even see you. And you can hold B main for free with this smoke. Or you can put it for, like, a jet. Like, if you have a jet on your team who's opping, they can walk up here, hold this angle with the op. Get a shot, bam, dash out, and they don't have to worry about window. Or another one's like on C. Let's say uh, you smoke it, you smoke C long, and they maybe they start shooting, but nobody's pushing because they're scared to push. Or like you, they're not making any noise, you know what's happening. You can just walk up to Cubby for free. It's an easy way to take control of something like Cubby. So that's kind of why, that's one way to use it. So on defense, you might want to smoke to get control or push somewhere. Uh, so that's one way. The second way is to slow down pushes. So let's say you're playing mid or even if you're on A and you hear people coming A short or your teammate says, hey man, I got like four short, four A right now. You can just, you'll want to throw a smoke long. Just throw it out. Just throw one, maybe two smokes if they're coming really hard. Now when the enemy team wants to push, your team has something to play off of, to hold. They can hold this smoke and the enemy team has to like worry about like when they push out of the smoke it's it helps slow that push allow gives your time or your team time to rotate because imagine this i have my alarm bot my, my my molly here i'm a killjoy my omen smokes this shadows traveling or my alarm bot goes off i pop a molly i can just shoot for free into the smoke and possibly get some free damage and i don't have to worry if there's like four people long because they can't see me right so i get those free shots i back up whereas if the smoke isn't there and I pop my molly, I, I peek. Maybe one guy's taking the damage running away, but there's another guy here holding him, and I just get shot for free. So that's another way you could use that smoke, just to stall those, uh, stall on defense and give your team something to play off of. And the last one's like retakes. So if we're here on A, let's say we lost A, let's say it's like a 4v4, 4v whatever. If I push out here, let's say I know no one's here, whatever, I cleared here. I have to clear this angle. I get to here. I now have to clear all of short this and i gotta clear this like close angle but if i push let's say i like watch this angle and i'm like and i start shooting a guy here this guy could swing me and shoot me for free in the side of the head so i not only have to worry about the guy hell that could be there but i also have to worry about short so on a retake similar to an attack where you're executing you want to smoke off these like popular angles so i'll smoke off long i'll smoke off short so when I'm here, it's just one less angle that when I clear this, I have one less thing to worry about. And one more thing, when we tap the bomb, they don't know what's happening too with the smoke, right? So if I'm here, let's say I'm on a bomb on my knees, on my knees ready to please, and the smoke's down, they can peek it and run away. And they can peek it from here. That's a safe angle to peek from. Where if I smoke Cover going here, out. and I'm on the bomb, they have to push yeah. out to here, which is further. It's easier for somebody to hold this and they can't just get that free info and back up as easy. And they either have to 50-50 hope I'm just I just tapped or they have to you know what like push me thinking I'm holding. So now we're going to talk about what a bad smoke looks like and what a good smoke looks like. The amount of times people have had like horrible smokes on this map, dude, it's actually crazy. These smokes are insane. Some of these how bad they are sometimes. I swear to god, the amount of times I've seen an omen smoke this Shadows like this traveling. thinking this is a good smoke this is probably one of the worst smokes on c i could possibly imagine and i'm gonna tell you why imagine you're trying to plant the bomb right here and there's a guy playing on c let's say they're playing metal you give them this cover where your team probably won't clear this angle because how are they going to clear this angle they have to come all the way out here to clear this angle 
and by this point most of them don't think about it another one is if they if you smoke this and they just walk in it if you start planting default they can just spray get a kill as soon as they hear you tap the bomb this is a horrible smoke you give a lot of free space you give them you give them like this whole thing to play around in you give them if they're stuck metal and you smoke that and they want to leave they can just walk away because you're giving them this cover if they're here cover going out and they're waiting to cheese this is first of all it's an easy smoke to cheese off of if they do stay here but if they decide to leave they can legit use your smoke and just walk away and then cheese somebody here your teammate if they try to clear back site they have to like push out of your oh, this smoke which is way e harder than just like you know taking a peek like this you know what i mean the smoke attack smokes are always garage and ct you want to make sure when you smoke something it's got to be in the doorway i like this hallway it's a little better because it's a hallway it's it's a little you know different i'll show you another example later but in a hallway you want to smoke a little deeper so what does this deep smoke do they can't flash out of the smoke if they're here cover going out if this is my smoke and i flash as a phoenix let's say my flash is going to hit this wall and this guy is not even going to get hit by the flash so this lets him so they have to waste a flash to, that doesn't really hit anybody and this guy can keep holding his angle and now he knows someone's coming garage because he heard a flash these principles for good and bad smokes work with every single agent whether you're playing asher whether you're playing brim whether you're playing omen these are the exact smokes you should be using a sky can flash out of this uh because her you know she can control it better uh reyna might be able to get it um but it's still way better than the other flash it's still and it gives you more time or the other smoke i mean so that's so you want to smoke some of that and then the ct smoke another thing that might make a smoke bad is kind of obvious there's like a crack like if you smoke like c long like this and i i don't know people have done this all the time there's like you can literally see past the smoke Hey guys, I found this great video after the stream that perfectly shows, you know, what a bad smoke looks like and how to take advantage of one. And it's actually a clip from a TikTok off XQC's TikTok. What I like about this is the fact that XQC himself is not like, you know, super high immortal, radiant pro player. You know, he he's really is, I think like an, I think he hovers around low gold. He's really like an average player, which makes it really cool to show just how, you know, you don't have to be some amazing player to take advantage of these tips. Uh, so we're just going to kind of play the clip, you know, see what he does. And then after we see what he does, I'm going to kind of break it down and kind of explain what's happening. I missed. Enemy removed. One close, one close. Oh, Red. Oh, oh, one enemy remaining. But you can see the brim smoke this and there's actually a crack right here and he can see through that smoke and the thing is most of the time when from the enemy's point of view when they're looking they're thinking it's smoked off and they don't have to really cover it or watch it so as you can see you know he kills this killjoy first and she's not even looking at him because why would she right it's smoked off and you know vents has a smoke there she thinks it's safe to cross her friend just died but you know they're probably thinking, oh, it was a random shot through the smoke. You know what I mean? So if you look, the Killjoy's actually not even looking at him. The Killjoy's actually, see that? She's looking towards uh, B Heaven, and she's not even paying attention to this uh, crack in the smoke. So he gets this kill basically for free, just taking advantage of the smoke. And then that's another nice shot in the sky. But I just wanted to, you know share this clip because i thought it was a really good example of what taking advantage of a bat smoke you know actually looks like uh so that you know you can maybe uh be more likely to recognize them in your games and maybe even use them you know to win some rounds get some free kills another thing too is more obvious is if they Cover smoke like this out. if you smoke outside the doorway somebody could walk in here and now they have options man they can come out here they could swing left they could swing to the right they could swing right through the middle. And if I'm holding this, when it's in here, I just have to hold this box. Like, this is the width I have to hold. Right? I'm holding from here to here. This is all I'm holding. Now, let's compare that to the other smoke that I said wasn't good, where it's, like, outside the doorway. If it's, like, here. Now, they can swing from both sides. So, instead of here to here, 
I have to hold from anywhere from here all the way to here. They can legit come out of this smoke in any of those angles. And they can flash out of this. And this is even worse. Because if a Phoenix comes here and he flashes to the right, he can swing this guy. Because this guy might get flashed if he's there. The same thing we just talked about with the doorways applies here. A lot of people, even me, dude, I've done this so many times and I, I always frick it up, dude. I'm actually so good at the game. That's why. But they smoke out here. Now, this is the same thing where they can play in the smoke. You know, they have they have options out because they can drop. They can swing here and get free kills as your team's pushing because your team might be like there on site, running to site. They can just shoot you guys in the back for free. Get back in the smoke if they're dashing into the smoke. Compare that to this smoke. If I smoke like in the doorway. Cover going out. And here we go. Look what happens. I have to wing. And if I'm here and I'm holding heaven, I legit only have to hold from there. This smoke's not the best either, but I only have to hold like this doorway compared to the other smoke where if I'm smoking like this, Cover going out. this guy can be here. He could drop anywhere here out of nowhere. The smoke could go down. He could just be in the middle and I have to like flick and find where he is, right? Good smoke to be like Shadows like bam in the doorway so i only have to hold this doorway with we're gonna take this concept and kind of switch that over to agents like viper astra and talk about them because i think they're a little bit different astra if you look there's the double ring on her stars the smoke is the smaller ring so if i put this down it's gonna be this is gonna be in the doorway because the smaller ring was there so if you watch what the smoke looks like, see what I mean? One problem a lot of people have, I think with Viper is they will play like smokes or they'll know kind of how smoking works in a way or just like with one character, but they won't know how to do it with Viper for some reason. So with Viper, it's the same idea with her wall. You got to smoke it horizontally and it's going to be something like that in the doorway usually or like on heaven this will cover ramps and it's the same idea where somebody's here they have to walk through this smoke and there's only one little section they could be you see what i mean so viper smokes although it's a wall the smoking principle works the exact same way so a lot of people do weird walls like this or like this or that di weird diagonal walls it, the wall simple man it's like this a simple horse vertical wall that covers exactly what an omen smoke covers it's around the same spot the same thing with the doorway ct is the exact same if they're pushing ct man they're gonna take 30 damage just to from this wall so it's the same idea you're smoking the same angles the only difference is your wall is straight instead of a round smoke that's the only difference but they work exactly the same so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to, I'm going to leave this game. We're going to talk about one-way smokes. So the easy one-way smoke is just on this box right here. You can do the smoke with literally all the agents. Like Viper, Bram, Omen. Doesn't matter. It's on here. And all it is, all one-way smoke is, is a smoke. This is probably actually kind of bad. It should be more of the right. But anyways, an, a one-way smoke is just a smoke that you put on like a box or some higher platform. To allow you to see an enemy without them being able to see you you can peek a one way and in theory the enemy should not be able to know where you are but you should know where the enemy is but just because you put the smoke up doesn't mean it's doing what you think it does because i've seen so many people put this one way up and they peek from here they they're peeking like this angle but this doesn't make any sense if i'm here you can see this guy's feet so you can shoot this guy you can see his feet so you can still shoot him but the problem is, no, they can see you. If they're playing this angle, they can see your feet. So they can shoot you. It's, this is not really using the one way the way it's supposed to be. So the way you want to play off of it, Shadows is, or the way they work, is if I'm an enemy, it's, it's not when I'm back there. It's when you're close to the smoke. Like if I'm here, if you're like there, you can see my feet and all I can see is the smoke. And that's how the one ways work. They couldn't see this at all, but I look how much I can see, dude. I can see up to like their, their hips almost. So the one way smoke works when they're really close to the smoke or they're pushing through the smoke. Uh, the last thing is about jet showers. 
I, there's no way to put a one-way smoke here. You, you just can't do it. There's nothing to put your smoke on. But if I switch quickly to jet to show you. And that's a one-way smoke. You put it there. They, they actually can't see anything. But I'm going to go through every single map right now. And I think we're going to talk about where to smoke on every map on attack. And then probably go through a couple one ways. Yeah, so smoke. We're going to start with A site. The default normal execute smokes is this one on tree. Going out. And this heaven smoke. Shadows traveling. And notice how, just like always, it's in the in the doorway, so they don't have room to push out. Uh, for heaven, it's the same thing. Uh, the way I like to look at it to help me, the nice landmark is uh, this little pillar is kind of lined up with heaven. So if you smoke like Cover going off out. of that, you can see it's it works the same way. It's like a nice little wall. So heaven and tree are the two here. The B side smokes are also pretty simple. It's gonna be market right here. And CT are the main smokes people do on on the executes. Shadow so smoke here. Cover going we'll smoke out. this. And it's the same again, same idea. It should be like a wall. It should be hard for them to push out of market. You don't want to give them that wiggle room, and you can just push on a site with that with those smokes. Usually, I smoke from like here. If there's like a raise, you might bait the raise grenade. But when we're ready to execute, the smokes are CT, and I usually smoke CT first. Because as your team's pushing, CT's the first thing they see. So that's what I smoke first from here. I'm going to smoke CT, and then I'm going to smoke Heaven. And it's the same, like, Deep Heaven smoke. So CT, traveling. and then we're going to smoke Heaven. Shadows traveling. And then now we're in, and these are the smokes as we're pushing site. Just like that. Well, those are the smokes on A. And next, we're going to go on to B. I'm so bad at the smoke, though. It's it's like heaven. I have mess, I literally messed this smoke up, I think, every single game. I wish Shadows I was lying. Traveling. But I always mess that smoke Shadows up. Traveling. And it's CT's the other one. So, actually, I did it not too bad this time. This one's pretty good, too. This one's easy, though. But it's CT and heaven are the two smokes. So, that's split. We're going to get on to the next map. Yeah, the smokes of this are kind of easy too. I usually go on the other side when I'm playing the smoker because that side is not that safe. But if you're like here and you're smoking, those two smokes are like here. Uh, this canteen here. and link. Here. But the smoke is here. Uh, probably deeper. It's Come probably like there. Out. The problem with this map too is that uh, pros haven't played it yet, so we haven't had a chance to see what they do. Uh, probably in there. Again, I, I'd say don't quote me on this. There hasn't been any, like, pro games yet. This is smokes I use. Uh, and my teams usually use. a site actually depends, in my opinion. I don't think you can just put, like, two, two the exact same two smokes every time and you're good. I, I think it honestly depends. If all of your teammates go A main, I think it's different than if your team splits. So let's do with everyone A main first. So if we're all here, if we're all A main... I would probably smoke the drop because someone could be playing from there and then you smoke here which i don't even know the name rope Not even rope. that's a uh, link so i'd probably put these two smokes out because then you get in here and then you're chilling and then you're in it's different if half your if your team splits on a i think if you have three a main and two drop i think the smokes are actually link and rope i think you smoke like this that smoke was bad but you smoke here so I think those smokes are probably better when you're splitting. Cover going out. So you smoke like this, Shadows smoke like that. Traveling. Smokes go down, and then your team's in. I'm smoking for my team. The first smoke I always put out is Heaven Smoke. And again, it's deep like this. Cover going you put out. that Heaven Smoke. The second one is usually CT. So smoke I do see a lot of people use that I honestly am not a fan of. It's like a smoke like this. I've done this too. I'm guilty of this. But I honestly do it because the teammates always get mad at you when you don't. But I don't think it's a good smoke. Is this smoke. Because they think, oh, if I smoke this, I can plant the bomb and it's safe. But what does this do? If an enemy's stuck here, it gives them a chance to escape. It also, if a player's playing here, 
They can sit in the smoke, wait for the plant, spam, get a kill, run away. Or if they're like Viper, and you smoke this off, they can sit here, they can molly here, run away, and then they stalled your plant. And now B is where it's like, uh, it, it, it's like a it depends kind of situation. So, what does it depend on? It depends on if your team is going hookah or if they cleared hookah. So if you cleared hookah, your team cleared hookah, and you don't, you know you don't have to worry about hookah, you can just smoke CT and elbow. So elbow Shadows traveling. and CT. Cover going out. So if you have all five B long, or let's say it's like a 3v3, you don't know where anyone is, and you're going B, you want to smoke hookah off. Shadows traveling. So you want to smoke hookah and elbow. Shadows. But hookah, because if I'm planting the bomb, if hookah's not smoked... Some buffoon dude could just stand on a stupid box and just start shooting at you and just get a free kill and then run away because your team's not looking at hookah man i'm telling you right now nobody on your team is looking at hookah man most of them aren't even looking at the site so if you don't smoke this they're just gonna get shot in the back and they're just gonna die for free and you're gonna die for free and you're gonna honestly want to quit the game so i say just smoke that off and smoke off elbow and hookah if you didn't clear it and if you did clear it smoke off elbow ct uh, let's get out of here. Let's get into the next map. We're all done with bind. The first wall is like anything like this. Probably on A. So what this wall is for. If I put it up. I usually try to focus on this box. Uh, to that corner. Sages will sit on their wall and they can see like this. But if you put your wall up on the box. They can't see you which is pretty nice. That's the wall for A. B is even simpler. B is so simple. It's legit a straight line. You want to make sure when you wall, dude, if you look down, it's not going to work. You have to legit look at the sky. Otherwise, you'll like mess your wall up sometimes. But it's just a vertical wall. So when you push, you just have to clear like here, here, this angle. And they can't even... You block off this whole, this whole area. So you can put the bomb down. In terms of ulting, I pop an ult here. You got to make sure you get the doorways. When you alt with Viper, you have to think about what are the entrances. And you got to make sure your alt blocks those entrances. Because I've seen some people alt and the alt's like back and they can just walk around the ultimate. Whereas look at this. Like they have to walk in my alt for like all this space. By the time they're here, they're already 20 HP. If you're playing a shotgun or even a phantom, it's just one shot to everybody. The uh, ice box is also a viper smoke map, but uh, we can honestly like soul Q, you can kind of get away with omen sometimes. But in terms of smokes, the two smokes are this heaven, the heaven smoke, and this smoke right here. They look like that. So what this does is it stops people from pushing the heaven. It stops people from playing like this safe angle of like back here and just getting free shots as you cross. Like it stops this cross. And then on B site, we'll show you B quickly. Uh, but the two smokes are here on this box. Cover going out. And then Snowman's the other one. So Snowman's a strong angle too. And this is strong because as you're planting, they can legit see over the wall, the sage wall, and just kill you for free if it's not smoked. Uh, but again, this is, in my opinion, Viper is way stronger than Thirty seconds left. Uh, single target smokes on this map. So we'll just quickly go over the Viper walls. For A, I usually do like a, a vertical wall like this. Straight up. Look up to the sky so that it hits everything. And then, what's this, what's this for? We hit it. It blocks up here. And it blocks the entire retake from like here. And now we're going to go to B site, show you B site. You should stand around like here, around like this line kind of. You're going to smoke. To make sure you hit both nest and the snowman is what you're going to be covering. So when I smoke this, snowman is obviously covering, but this is also covering. So when I'm, if someone's planting bomb, like they can't see you from nest. So again, the smokes for C. Like we talked before, it's a deep smoke always. You're going to smoke elbow here and CT is going to be like here. So we smoke Shadows traveling. or garage. I don't know why I said elbow. Oh, we smoke. Out. If we're pushing B, if you do play on here, the smokes are just the links. Cover it's A link, out. and it's the C link Shadows smoke. Traveling. I'm smoking for A. 
We want our heaven smoke going out. and the CT smoke. Shadows traveling. Again with CT, I've seen people smoke like here, but this is a bad smoke, man. It's the same idea of they can just walk up into it, creep up, flash, and then push out of it. And that's all for this in-depth guide on how to smoke in Valorant. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. If you're interested in watching clips like this live, consider checking me out on stream every Saturday from 2 to 6 p.m. EST on Twitch. All my links are in the description. Finally, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Valorant related content.